You can see these areas with the thicker growth. This is what I'm going for is to come through and get some of that off first if possible. These areas that have the darker bits of discoloration, I'm gonna come through and treat those first and those can be dwelling with our house wash mix on there as I'm working on everything else because that's probably gonna be the slowest to clean up. Adrian, that rug that's right there, in a second when I get to that corner, I'll have you stand that up around those plants that are right there in the corner so that I don't get overspray on those. Um, this is a good thing to keep an eye out for. Normal flower bed, we've got roses and things growing, but in this section, the customer has planted food that they probably plan on eating. Um, we've got tomatoes, uh, possibly cucumbers there, jalapenos, cilantro, and basil. So if they're gonna be eating this, they're definitely keeping a close eye on it. And they're gonna try to baby these things to get them, to get them um, big enough to eat. So. Uh, use a little extra precaution when you're working around that stuff and we're gonna we're just gonna build a little a little shield right there to keep any of that misting from from flying over there i mean these are a pretty soft leaf to begin with so um, in addition to that being a food item that they're gonna want to ingest um, it's a delicate plant on top of that so i'll go through with my small sprayer i'm gonna touch up all of these areas up on top Okay, thank you, sir. We started about three to five minutes ago on this area, so I'll come back and take a look, make sure I've got some color change going on. Where it was black, now it's starting to turn more of a brown, which is what I'm hoping for. Um, if I am not noticing the change that I want, Will you grab the, the pressure hose for me? I just spray it all over this thyme. And so if I'm not getting the color change, then I'm gonna come through and add a little bit more to the mix, but this is starting to change like I wanted it to. And so by the time we get through soaking this lower deck area, we should be good to go. And I'll come back and look for any areas that might be drying up. This stuff will pool in some areas and stay wet. Some areas where it runs off, it'll dry a little bit quicker. So just go through before I set this down and just touch up anything else that I need to before I start working on another aspect of the job. And I'm looking, all of that growth on top of the stone is starting to disappear. We're probably about 10 to 12 minutes in since its first application and I like to shoot for 15 minutes to all time. So if it's pretty close to being gone at that point, then our mix is gonna be right where I needed it to be. As I'm cleaning this top cap, uh, I was starting to notice underneath all of that growth that there has been somebody pressure washing back here to clean this up with high pressure. Uh, I can see fan tip marks here that you can see just are coming back and forth and it's inconsistent. And that wasn't something that I'd noticed before, but it is something we'll go ahead and document and, and point out to the customer. Uh, that gives them all the more reason to let a professional come out and do it next time. Um, it would take a lot of work to even that out and remove those marks off of there when uh, initially probably what should have happened is to spend the money to have a professional come out and do it properly instead of you know saving a few bucks and getting it looking good enough but now it's damaged and that's going to be quite a bit of work for somebody to repair if if they do have an issue with that now up in a lot of these corners and around flower pots and things like that um, and the edges i'll go ahead and use my dual lens pressure washer wand and i'm going to put a regular white tip on the end of my gun and the reason I'm going to do that is that there probably will be a couple little areas that have some buildup that I will apply, apply some pressure to but for the most part I'll just be rinsing this but up in a couple little nooks and crannies if I need to apply a little pressure to the top of this stone I'll be able to clean it with more pressure than a soft wash tip but 
not quite enough to leave damages like the last person did. And so I'll grab my wand, go across here. I'm gonna need to apply some pressure to get this buildup off of here. The algae is pretty much gone, but that one bad section still does have quite a bit of buildup on it. And we're so far so good. And what I would like to do is if I do apply pressure to something and there's any chance of making any marks, uh, kind of goes the same way for a driveway, is the pattern that you are going across it, if it does create any sort of etching or anything like that, you want to minimize that as much as possible. You can't always tell 100% um, if it's going to do that or not. So if you plan ahead and the, the pattern that you go about spraying it, if it's insistent all the way around, it'll be a lot less noticeable than that person who cleaned it before who's doing this number. This is how they're cleaning it. And that's how you get all these unappealing lines. So what I like to do, with lower pressure, of course, you can see both of these are putting out water. I'm probably putting out maybe a uh, thousand PSI or so. And so what I'll do is I'll come through and go back and forth like this. This one's gonna be a little trickier because I'll blow mud everywhere if I go side to side. We can see we've got this one stretch right here that is not to my satisfaction yet. So I'm definitely gonna retreat that area. All of the other areas look good. There's a couple small spots on that top near that flower bed, but overall, that's gonna be an acceptable result. If you'll help me real quick before you do that, just cover these plants once more. You can see those areas that weren't giving us the desired result. The second application is definitely doing the trick. And we should be able to just leave that on there. And when we come back, it's going to look like we wanted it to. Appreciate you guys watching these videos. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. Wash on, guys.